Integrating the taxation of carbon emissions into the broader tax code could result in inequality. Whether or not politicians actually care will become clear by how they address the problem. My name is Armand Rezai, and I'm a researcher at the Vienna University of Economics and Business and one of VU's biggest fans. As the EU is becoming serious about fighting climate change and making sure that global average temperatures do not increase by more than 2 degrees, we will have to become carbon neutral by 2050 at the latest. So far, we've mainly focused on emissions from power plants, industry and gasoline. But now we need to address all emission sources, even where it hurts. However, recent efforts to do so have been met by resistance. You might remember the Yellow West movement in France and its repeated and repeatedly violent protests, which forced the government to renege on previous climate policies and its ambitious plans to tax carbon. Colleagues of mine from Oxford and Dublin and I recently finished a study on the distributional effects of climate policies similar to those of the French government. Our study is novel in that the data we use allows for many different types of German households, thereby capturing people from all walks of life. We find that the most important factor in determining who benefits is the way in which carbon tax revenue is spent. What was surprising to us is that the often touted urban-rural divide is only of secondary importance. While the level of carbon tax revenue is not large compared to other taxes, the details of recycling it matter greatly on who gains and who loses. For example, some policies in Canada and Switzerland hand money back on a per capita basis, which lowers inequality. One could also lower existing taxes instead. These policies are called green tax reform and have the potential of lowering the overall cost of climate policy, but tend to favor richer households. Such important details will be subject to intensive policy discussion in the EU and other industrialized economies in the years to come.